September uh, um, September 19th at 7 o'clock. Uh, first thing that we need to do is approve minutes for July 18th meeting. May I have a motion to approve the minutes? Everybody get a chance to read them? Seems like they're so long ago. Yes. A motion to approve? Yeah. All motion. I read them then. Okay. Yeah. Second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Okay. Motion carries to approve the minutes from July 18th. Um, next thing up on our agenda is fall festival update. Christine, anybody you want to tell us about sure. where we're, we're at? We're having a fall festival. We you are. This weekend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now we're, um, I, I mean, things are going along. We have sponsors, we have vendors, we have gifts, we have basically everything in place. We've had to rework a couple things that really, you know, I mean, that doesn't affect you guys. Um, and we'll be doing baskets this evening. Uh, most of the baskets are together. We're just putting in the last minute items and I'm letting you guys make them look pretty because my bows are terrible mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um trying to think what else i know everyone is concerned about the weather uh with events you really don't start looking until th thursday morning we'll start looking at it monitoring it um we'd like to basically the way it's going to work is if it's de definite going to be a washout we will call it on friday if everything is still like a 50 50 then we will get to everybody at the latest six o'clock with our decision of what we're doing. Okay. And that's a.m. No, <laughs> 6 a.m. on Saturday. I will probably be here at five. And okay. if I have to change the websites and and the manual or the voicemails and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So, okay. so then the, the rainy date for the fireworks are the following yes Saturday. september 30th is a rain date for the fireworks there is no rain date for the fall festival i know is there a chance that the fall festival will happen but the fireworks will not it it's really anybody's guess right now i mean mr may can probably talk a little bit more to that well, I About think if it's rain. the issue with well, obviously the fire the the once they once they load the mortars for the fireworks, they won't they won't take them out. So it's either going to be we need to light them all up now, yeah. or nothing. And the other issue with the rain is where we're parking. I mean, if, it, if we get like a substantial amount, of, let's say the fall festival ends at like two thirty, and then rain everyone starts packing up, and we just get a deluge, then we can't park anybody. And it stops by seven o'clock. And the sun comes. Well, we have to check the condition of the fields where we're going to park all the cars. That would be the issue. So, and there's also a possibility that we could, it could be like torrential rain up until like say ten o'clock in the morning, and then the sun comes out and it dries up, and then you want to have the fireworks. I mean, it's really we're we're at mother mother nature's mercy right yeah. now. So, but we will definitely communicate with everyone. It's no traffic fall festival. What is the traffic there? Uh, I assume we would hold them for our next event. We would store them and have them for. Would we have that around the towards Canada House, for example? That I'm not into the Santa House yet. I don't know if that's something that you had before. So that'll be something that when I sit with Shell Clancy and probably Kathy will discuss that um, yeah. i don't know what if if that is the type of event where people buy tickets yeah. so yeah. so the next yeah. event would be the veterans committee bingo event which is scheduled for april so that so that could that's be really far away and maybe some other things when you can expire it's a possibility yeah. we're basically and, and i love you know the thinking ahead we're just basically looking at right now, hoping mm -hmm. that everything works out on Saturday. And then if for some reason it would not, then after we get to the fireworks, we would address what we're going to do. Right. You can do it online, but well, what if we did, I'm oh, sorry, Brooke, I had, I didn't mean to cut you off. What if we did say, okay, so we find needy families, donate a Christmas meal or a toy or something to read family and get a ticket for the chance to win a basket. Very possible. 
that would end up coming down the line as a something that the board would have right. to approve before. I, I don't. It's have just an idea. For things like that. <laughs> oh, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. we'll have to keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. exactly. What the board's plan. Exactly. Yeah. Marco's going to talk right. to somebody, and we'll have sunshine. That's right. <laughs> 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 that happens. Do you think it would be possible to do a raffle tent at if the fireworks? get postponed at the fireworks? I'm not going to unfortunately speak to that because that's number one, not for me to approve. Uh, number two, it adds another component mm. where... I don't know how much, how many people you've got to yes. set for yeah, the fireworks. We, we are, I'll, I'll be real honest, we are mm. struggling with volunteers. Okay. Um, if it wasn't for the Parks and Rec Committee, I, I don't know if I'd have any volunteers. Uh, so mm -hmm. I don't want to promise something uh, that I can't supply people for. Yeah. And we have three we have three members from Public Works doing the entire day. Yeah, I mean that so. were uh, I mean myself, Mike Walsh, and Public Works is working from seven a.m. until eleven p.m. at night. So we're we're there a long day. Um, you know, I, I mean, I don't want to let anybody down and we will do our best to do what's best for the committees and for, but, you know, the, the struggle is there. I mean, luckily, you know, uh, we did a push for volunteers and we got about six applications in and now those six applications, only one person is available to do this. So um, yeah, exactly. You have events. kids' sports. Right you have lots yeah. of events. So it's the same like when I think people come back from summer vacation and before the holidays. Yes. So yeah. Exactly. I know it's such a good event, though. I mean, we've had oh great success with absolutely. Marco, Fall festivals are my favorite. Your, the veterans committee. Do we have like yeah, a, we, we have two volunteers. Two we do. Yeah. For so myself and uh, Dale. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, guess, yeah, yeah. I'm you're there. In, you're there in the morning, right? I have here in the morning. Um, but, and um, Dale is running the reenactors tent, if I'm correct. Yeah, so, I think so, I think so. And then um, I have the planning commission. The planning event would volunteer. So, I'll see. Okay, I appreciate yeah. it. I mean, all we can do is ask. Mm -hmm. If okay. not, uh. Do we um, have the layout? Is that complete? Yeah, the layout is complete, yes. So Patty's uh, next to you. Uh, on your oh, side. thank you. Her only request is she wants to be next to the petting zoo. Oh, absolutely. What, and she wants her Jeep to be there. Because absolutely. Because it's advertisement for her company. Not a problem. Okay. Tell her it's done. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> that I can answer to. <laughs> yeah. What would be the biggest call for volunteers that you'd want? Just normal people to... Um, basically the way our call for volunteers is right now, and I know Jess, you had asked for, you said you had about an hour you could give at the petting zoo, and I know Brooke is doing raffles. Yes. The whole day. Yeah, yes. I just said that I had done the petting zoo in the past oh. and the raffles in the past. Okay. So okay. Are that I'm familiar with, and I had like an hour or two, no, like maybe two hours. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So that is where I have had you know, you ladies, um, basically our biggest pushes will be first thing in the morning. Uh, what we are doing is uh, I have purchased walkie talkies mm -hmm. to give to various people that will be placed throughout the park. As people arrive, I will be up front and it, say it's touch a truck. I'll be like, okay, Mike, I'm sending a fire truck down to you. If it's vendors, I'll be like, Marco, I'm sending you uh, this vendor just to kind of keep it moving and giving people a heads up before they get there so they know who this person is and, and what they are, because we're all gonna have lists also. Mm -hmm. um, so that is gonna be a big push, just having the people placed and getting it all set up. Once setup is there and the, uh, the event is moving, my primary uh, volunteers I will need will be raffles mm -hmm. and um, the auto show, the car show. Do we have anybody for the auto we show? We already have eight registered. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them are very uh, doing car shows in the past. Uh, if they even think there's a sprinkle, 
most of them would prefer to come the day of and sign up. Okay. So okay. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, then that's during the day, then I have to get a whole other set of volunteers for uh, directing cars to park for the fireworks. Oh. So we are currently trying to get uh, fire police for that. Chief Clouser and I have sent out multiple letters and spoke with, but the, as, as Brooke pointed out, there's lots of events that day. So we are basically pulling... And everybody is pulling on the same resources, mm -hmm. so we're doing our best. Yeah, Warrington, Warrington War Day. Warrington, Warrington Day. Uh, there's a car show very close by. I forget where. Uh, I believe Skip Back has an event that day. I mean, it, it basically you can trip out of your car and find something to do. Yeah. <laughs> every weekend. Every yeah. every weekend yeah. in the fall. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I know Hatfield has their uh, Rocktoberfest. I believe. The following weekend. Uh, I mean, it's yeah, uh, yeah. I'll be in touch, and if there's anybody that knows anybody that can lend a hand, that would be that would be great. Yeah, so I'll do whatever you want. Me yeah, to do. I would, Nancy. I'll probably have you helping Brooke at raffles. Yeah, and, and I think that. early yes last year. Okay, yeah. early, that would be I wonderful because the kids are going to want to go. So oh, I want. I need early, so <laughs> you you could be you could be my early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know I help park very because um, oh, we fly. also don't <laughs> we fly. also don't have a lot of staff. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was a nightmare. Yeah. It was a nightmare that, well, we we're not allowing uh, we're not allowing uh, vehicles on there. Yeah, well, no, no it's, we didn't sales, but we, we have one last year. Uh, Fifty plus vendors. Yeah. Oh, and are we doing oh, the cars that. pulling on setting yes. up at the back of their car? Yes, their car will be with them Maybe because not only does it make it easier for them to set up and break down, but then they can't leave before the event's over. Okay. Oh. So yeah, it's a nice way of trapping them. So because right. we don't want them deciding, oh, I'm not making enough money, I'm going to leave at one o'clock. I think that's more yeah. vendors we have. Yeah, huh? we're about mid thirties. Yeah, thirties, forties. Yeah, we we have fifty, and that's not counting the sponsorships, mm -hmm. uh, which is probably another ten tables. I have had to turn quite. Uh, our deadline was Friday for the vendors. Uh, no, no, you called me ahead of time, okay. so that doesn't count. Mm -hmm. I've had people calling me this morning saying I want in uh, to sell my stickers, and I'm like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. May I take your information for next year? We'd love mm -hmm. to have you because at this point. We are so full and trying to fine tune it that we just we're pretty much at capacity. Oh, yeah, wow, that's great. Well, um, and what time do you need us here in the morning? Uh, if you are going to be here to help set up, mm -hmm. uh, we're asking volunteers to be here by 8 30. Okay. Um, for raffles, if you're just doing raffles and uh, during the event, you don't have to be here till 10. I'll come early and help set up the round so, table. Okay. okay. What whatever, yeah, you know. The only but, thing I can't uh, guarantee this uh, year is the quality of the burgers. Why? Uh -oh. What happened? Just He's not cooking them. Cook Who's them? cooking them? Happy snacks. I've cooked them for 15 years. Who? All right. Mike uh Mike Walsh has a friend who works at Peddler's Village wow. who has a company called Happy Snacks. Okay. And he is doing burgers, hot dogs, funnel cake, lemonade, uh Anything nachos? I mean, there's more than a, just him. Uh, right? Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, well, the good more. part about this is, is usually I don't eat a burger after about six months after the fall festival. Mm -hmm. so, Marco, well, no, because it's ingrained inside your nose. All you can smell is barbecue burgers. <laughs> Happy snacks is affording you your afternoon event <laughs> that day. <laughs> Good. Are they set up in the same place where yes. the burgers were going? So uh, gonna close to there, yes. Right there at the pavilion. They're going to be cooking right there at the pavilion. On the other side. Uh, On the other side. Yeah. yeah. And then our closer yes, to the stage area. We're going to use all the tables under the pavilion for people to eat when they buy their food. And then you guys will be right outside of that with the raffle table. So as people are coming and going with their money out for their hot dogs, they're going to give us a little bit. Too. Awesome. <laughs> good. Awesome. Good, good, good. I think it all sounds good. Fingers and toes crossed for good weather. Do whatever, whatever dance you do, do it. <laughs> do you have Venmo set up for the raffle basket? No. No. 
No, we, we don't have Venmo. We uh, uh, that and um, that is more so a treasure treasury thing. Yes. Right. Just so, curious. I know that. Oh, uh, I like, know lots of people. Trust yeah. me, my my daughter. Everything's Venmo. It's so, so much easier. Yeah, it yeah. really is. What does the last whole kind of thing? Maybe the present It's before it. Uh, well, it's uh, it, the entire event benefits the Veterans Committee okay. and the Veterans Committee who does the park. And also, I believe, Marco, you said we were we wanted to expand on what we do for the veterans. Yeah, just just the shuttle buses and stuff. And I think yeah. you reached out to Brian Ron. Yes. I reached out to Four Seasons. Um, we shall see. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if you're volunteering early. 8.30 for setup and 10 o'clock if you're here directing or selling the raffle tickets or whatever else or you need the petting zoo. Petting zoo or whatnot. So, okay. And we will also probably send out a list. I know Brooke asked for a list this morning. I uh, spoke with, with Mike as we're still trying to pull the volunteers in and we're kind of working around if there's places that we can not, like say the moon bounces, mm -hmm. we are not going to have somebody guarding each moon, moon bounce. There will be signs that will say the parents are responsible. We also will have people, you know, going back and forth and checking, but to put someone to stand there for five hours right. is a, a, a waste of resources. Right. So, right. Uh, But as we figure out what we have and what we can work with, so by Friday, we will have a list. Okay. A better idea. Okay. I think it was just a safety thing. Yeah. Uh, with the uh, inflatable with the, mm -hmm. uh, pumps to make sure they still work. Yes. We one deflate one year. It ran out of gas. Because yeah, and we have we won't um, go into our that. public works guys, actually the uh, our entire public works staff uh, and parks and rec staff is setting up Friday. They're taking their entire day and focusing on our fall festival. And then the three gentlemen, uh, Justin, Louie, and Black. Joe Black, who will be with us all day. Their job job will be primarily making sure the trash isn't overflowing, making sure there's enough gas in the generators, uh, taking care of any little things that pop up, you know, that, you know, they're, they always, yeah, they're, uh, they're great. They're always right there. Yeah. When you so, always. yeah, we did a walkabout with uh, Bill Black and Bill May and, and everybody. So we, walk around the park and we know what's needed so sounds awesome that's awesome so next the next agenda item is santa health santa health so <laughs> you're on you're on that is a smooth running oh it, it really is a matter of fact i mean we, lots of we already have the uh, i'm actually looking forward to it because mr may is going to let me come along when we could construct the house well, I, I told her. I said, I said, you can you can witness on how it gets unloaded, yeah. and be like, oh my god. So, this is my kind of thing. It's, yeah, it's, not all of it is, but I I do like stand up stuff. So, uh, but we already, you know, we've we've spoken with Giant. We have that secured. We have our insurance. We have the flyer made up. Uh, we are waiting until after the fall festival for me to contact the choirs because or the, the mm -hmm. choruses because they just got back to school mm -hmm. and are doing that so we want to get them mm -hmm. uh so really i mean we've sent a giant because my thing is if we're right there in front of your store why don't you donate the food so i'm trying to work with oh, them okay. to see if we can well you know they did, they did um i didn't hit them at least i didn't hit them this year at fall festival which i usually hit them for buns mm -hmm. and uh catch up and yeah, they oh, yeah. well, yeah. they've yeah. changed their donations. You can't even go down to the little one down here and get a twenty-five dollar gift card anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, they have all been told to go through this corporate website in which you have to go in, make the request six weeks in advance, uh, and they have been denying a lot more lately. I I was surprised that I hadn't heard from them because. We haven't hit them up too hard this year, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I've heard nothing. And the deadline was last Friday to have information. And so I know I've, I, and a lot of your bigger places like Wegmans, Costco, um, I'm trying to think of some others ha are on these sites now because they get hit up so much yeah. that the, it's being handled by their corporate entities. 
So, but other oh, in happy news, Santa will. Uh, I mean, it's the eighth and ninth, if I'm correct, that Friday and Saturday. It's usually the first. Yeah, the first Friday and Saturday. Of the so, month. off the top of my head, um, it's scrambled up here. So eighth and ninth. <laughs> um, and Santa's coming in on the fire. on the fire truck. We've actually confirmed that. Also, we have Santa. We have the fire trucks. Um, the fire truck thing this year. That I do not know. Uh, I they they usually do. They did last year. I think they did. They did do it. They did it last year. They didn't. They didn't stay Saturday. They stayed Friday when they dropped. Yeah, they did. Because I remember that you couldn't hear the band until they until they left. Um, yeah, and, and and we can can uh, confirm with them on that. You know, when we get a little closer, whether they're like staying. I know they do. <laughs> the only thing I would say is make sure that they. It's better if they're five after five instead of five of five. Because mm -hmm. there was kids that were kind of like. The kids that get there late and don't see them arrive and cry. And then mom's mad and hates us. So, yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and the bells, if we could order the bells. Yes. Watching them. Yeah. I, I've been keeping an eye on uh, Oriental Trading doesn't have their stuff up yet. But I think once we get a little closer to Halloween. I don't. I was gonna say I don't trust Timu personally. Yeah. I mean, Nintendo. Well, I don't. I've never ordered, but like myself. Look, look for bells. They've never been there. Okay. No, I think Oriental Trading will have them once they start releasing their Christmas stuff. Yeah, my daughter used it, and I mean, she yeah. got her stuff, right, sure but her it. friend yeah. didn't, yeah. and it was real it's sketchy. Real, no. And hey, it's all knockoff. It's all here. The yeah. t-shirts, you know. If, but they don't always get their stuff. I mean, I know yeah. some kids have been out money because they they're told they can get more if they talk their friend into buying, and it's a whole oh, yeah. Situation. Oh, oh, that one. I love that one. Put me on. Send me on. She's a teenager at heart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait to watch She's actually, she yeah. actually pretty good. Cool. Hey, a new one coming up. I am so excited. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she's okay. All right. All right. So I guess that's it for the Santa. That's really all right now. Mm -hmm. That's in the change of Santa. No, we just have, we'll look, look for the food donations. If not, we do a shopping trip to Costco to get the wrap cookies. Mm -hmm. We can get the hot chocolate there. We'll yeah. have the water. The candy canes. The candy cane mm -hmm. from there. So it, that's a quick, yeah, easy Yeah, exactly. That's trip. one of those quick I, I, trips. I do know from the Madrid Giant, when we stayed them up for the Fall Festival, Thursdays is when they know whether they're going to allocate the food banks on, or put you know, excess food. Mm -hmm. On Thursdays, when they do, at least they used Last year they did their inventories on Thursdays. Okay. So they know how much left over they have, and they use yeah. the food banks for what. That's good to know. So now, do, is that the little giant, the, the big, big giant, giant? Big, big giant. giant. Okay, great. Thank you. And we'll be collecting food. Yes. Also during the Santa. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Everything is. Mrs. Good. May will be joining us. Really good. <laughs> it's so fun, and it's really a smooth machine compared yep. to this. This one has lots of moving parts yeah <laughs> okay so moving on to other business um update on the so the the rear yeah. playground um obviously you were all informed about the issues that had with it uh so actually quickly enough that we contacted uh, recreational resources their credit we were able to work together with them um to a point they had their contractors come in and we bought the materials and they were in august 9th I believe it was August 9th. They started the work August 11th. Everything was completed and it officially reopened on August 14th. So it was a pretty quick turnover. Um, I was impressed. They had all came out. They dug the trenches by hand. They put in about a hundred and hundred feet of under drain wow. and tied it all together. And now what we're going to do is extend that where it comes out of the one corner of the playground where it exits in the low end into the swale we're actually going to make that french train all the way down across to where it actually goes underneath the trail and empties out into the creek okay. so now it can just all flow we might be able to cover that whole swale up okay. and we won't it won't be needed so okay. it'll, it'll probably alleviate a lot of puddling in there too okay. so um yeah and that's it it was, it was it's uh it was it was oh they replaced all the um inserts too and retightened everything and they dug out the one footer and expanded it made it wider because the one post was so wobbly so um and they inspected the whole thing and 
and it's good. So far, so good. I, I, I keep an eye on it. Huh? On this, this playground equipment. I think there's a limited warranty on it. I'm not sure exactly how long it is, but something like that. Yeah. And the, the, the rivets, the, the, the inserts that in there that you screw into shouldn't be pulling out. No, and they no. even said, he goes, no, we're using the updated ones, these better ones now. So um, I think they're a really pretty decent company to work with because they were pretty responsive and pretty, they, they took ownership of it. Plus yeah. the, new, the new playgrounds, like the one at Veterans Park, although it's almost 10 years old, it's, that held up nice. Mm -hmm. Different company. That's Landscapes, I think, is was who, who made that. It looks brand new. Yeah, it does. Even the one at at, at uh, well, Highlands is starting to get a little worn, but that's that's old. Even the one at West Branch is still it's still pretty decent. So. And we'll have another inspection, like in the spring or something, just to make sure that everything is I, I, ready for the. What's that? And ready for the the crowds of the summer. Like in the spring, have it, them out to re and we everything we periodically um, we'll do playground inspections. Mm -hmm. Not that we're certified, but we'll take a look at the obvious. If there's a problem, we'll fix it if we can. If not, we'll, we'll remedy the problem in a, in another form. But yeah, we usually do them. Try to do them once a month. It's usually once every other month. Um, and we usually try to do it on days that are like 110 degrees. All right, just go do playground inspections tonight. You know, so you're not exerting yourself. Or a rainy day is a real good day to do that. So as long as we stay on it. Yeah, we do. We're, we're we're pretty much so what's our next project there? Like the North Branch. What's what are we tackling on next? Uh we're looking at right now walking trails and possibly we're looking for the capital plan, something to do with the lower the, the next playground. The two to five year old with the train yeah. and a pavilion. And hopefully get that whole area just incorporated in one big thing. So when I have some, I'll bring them next time or I'll send them to everybody. I'll send them some photos of what they sent me to make up for the two to five year old tot lot. Okay. Now we can take the swing sets out of the, away from the drive area mm -hmm. and hopefully incorporate. I have to look at the footprint. I, like I said, I just got this, but okay. um, look at the footprint of where it can go. Cause we're limited. We may have to move. We had this discussion with Mike. We may have to move some of the memorial trees because oh. there's two over there oh. they're right there and we can't come this way because of the gas line and we can't go that way because of it only infringe on the softball field when were the memorial trees planted when yeah. that's been here Whew. that that pear tree had to be has to be at least 20 years so i'm surprised it's lasted this long if not older right and there's another one right next to it but that's, like I said, that's going on the capital plan as for like 2025, hopefully if it gets passed. So yeah. let's, let's revisit that, I think, in November and, and look at what that, or no, October, and look at what the plan looks like for the plot lot. That, yeah. That, do that in October, October. Yeah, I can, I can, I can uh, for the, mm -hmm. print it out. I had, a, I had a question as to, like I saw on the flyer that they, release that there was a mention of inflation of reflection area in veterans park mm -hmm. uh, i wasn't aware of that i didn't know what that was yeah i mean that's that's 10 years um well i think five years or 10 years on a capital plan so 20 next year yeah well i mean that we're going to start you know looking at it but uh what we wanted to do is it's in the middle kind of put some benches and maybe, in the middle yeah yeah yeah. And then, you know, like a little trail where you can throw some benches in the middle and like a reflection area, something to do, you know. That got water that water. got held off because we were trying to see um, about the, the water issue over the trail down the bottom. Oh. I think I think mm -hmm. Ken was going to plant trees that are water absorbing mm -hmm. to see if that can alleviate it. And if that does, then we can move on. Is it, you know, don't start something else until you solve the the, the, the first problem. We lost a lot of trees at Veterans Park too that we need to replace. Yeah, there's another one there I have to take and down. The original trees were missing at least 12 trees on the road front on Newton Road itself. Why? Uh, just ran out of money. Okay. But, um, yeah, so that's just long term plan. Yeah. 
when I hear something else costs money. <laughs> right. So, but uh, there, there's a big issue on the bottom of Veterans Park is is uh, when it, there's heavy rain. I mean, especially in the winter time, it goes over the water. Yeah, it creates a nice sheet. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, we'll, all that we should have a tendency to build all our parks on floodplains. High yeah. <laughs> water table. I, well, I'm just right next to a creek. Except for this year. West Branch. West Branch. I've seen it up, up, up over, up halfway up the backstops. When I've that. Seen West Branch always in the parking lot before we put all that fill. Before, yeah. Now, now it, now it just congregates over to the one side. But anyway. Yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> All right, so just moving along so we can get to our baskets. <laughs> the, the top hot thing. Do you think that whatever they did with the playground back there, the the under drains, that they can do something similar here? And while you're talking about moving the oil pool or moving them, just that's the takeaway from under drainage. Number the biggest problem with the drainage here is it has no place to go because we put something in the way. Like if we take out this this upper upper swing set here, it can naturally flow past it because we've created a, a trap for the water. And the one over by the pavilion, it comes down there. But where the access is, the handicap access into the pavilion, it stops there. So that's all going to get engineered, and we're going to try and alleviate everything before we even start. But this, like I said, this is a couple of years down the road. So, but it's the weather patterns because the storms that we're getting now I feel like are so furious when the rains come they come so much stronger than I ever remember and 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 we're we're dealing with that I think more so as well mm -hmm. so it, it's constant it's constant change and movement and trying to catch up with to the dry and a lot of it too has to come with there's less ground absorption because of the we're building more um, so there's a lot more runoff and it's, it's hard. I try to explain to people, I said, it's taking, you can take a five gallon bucket and slowly dump it down your drain. It'll take it all. I said, but when you had to go like this and dump it into one concentrated area, it's going to overflow. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a chance to spread out like it used to. So. Yeah, like, do you like use amended soil at all? A what? Amended soil? No. Well, sometimes that helps with having it infiltrating to the ground. Right. Um, I don't know if that was an option or if that would help. Like I said, um, most of the drainage issues down here are just because it can't get to where it needs to go. Um, it's it's bad. <laughs> well, it's it's a lot of it's design flaws too. I mean, it's like they mm -hmm. you don't put a dip in the park. Mm -hmm. You don't go down and back up and not expect the water. It's not, not, not yeah. Well, like, um, you just put a walking trail around it, and then, oh, well, no, this is where water has to go. And... Yeah. 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 Just put a pond there. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll have to put up no skating signs and no fishing, and no, then we'll have docks, and then people complain about the geese, like, and then... Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So um, moving along, any public comments? Anybody have anything they want to add or say or any updates, Cynthia, from the board that we need to be made aware of? I don't think so. What yeah. happened to the environmental advisory committee or council, whatever we're going to be called? Um, what day are we? Last week. <laughs> I can't think what day it was. Last Monday, we had the first three um interviews taught new people that have not applied for a um a commission before and then we'll have one more next monday and then we'll see how quickly the board makes a decision who to put on the board how to set it up and how to get it going because we right. still have to we still have to work out who's going to be the um the staff contact who would be appointed to it? So yeah, so like maybe in the new year, we'll see how we go. <laughs> today we had our um our first day of the interim manager joined us today, so we will see how what we can get going. Thank yeah. you. Budgets, budgets. What we've got to get first. <laughs> but, I have a question okay. with the um plan up here. I know I was put into contact that mm -hmm. you and Mary Beth. Had high interest in 
collaborating, mm -hmm. but I haven't heard from you or Mary Beth. And I just well, want yeah. any ideas before I do the next rendition, just so I'm not like spinning my wheels and wasting my time. Mm -hmm. So um, is it possible for you and Mary Beth to get your mm -hmm. ideas together? So like maybe I can make sure they're adequately addressed on the next mm -hmm. one. Um, I've also heard from, it went out to all of the board of supervisors. So I've heard from, um, Stephanie Shortle, uh, Mary Beth, I haven't heard from, and I thought you got my gist of ideas for me at the last minute. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Like yeah. 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 Um, so Stephanie's main concern, which I, I agree with her, is putting the benches on the um, on the pathway. Okay. I think it would be uh, a lot of money to change the steel that's on there at the moment. And um, would also hamper since that's our only access for wheelchairs up and down that up sure. to the building. So, so that, right, that, that's uh, yeah. Well, if you wow. go and have a listen to last Monday's meeting, you would have heard what the consultant has suggested about what to do about fixing the building, expansion, what his ideas were. That sort of thing. So you would have a complete facelift. Yeah. So it, this would turn into um, a two-story lobby. I'm assuming all the dirt would go away <laughs> from the way they were describing it. So add an addition out here and an addition out back. That raises the police station, right? No, the, the no. main building staying put. So raising as in getting rid of all the dirt and turning it into a truly a two-story building is what I envision. They didn't do any renderings, but the way they gave us the floor plans. How was this built? Ninety early nineties, ninety one to ninety four, something like that. I think. Yeah, ninety. I would say closer to ninety one, ninety somewhere in between there. That's right around the yeah. ballpark. Yeah. So when is that expected to take effect or to <laughs> So sorry, I laughed. It's um. We were given an idea of maybe ten million dollars to do that, so it's going to be a while. <laughs> so I would go ahead with your plans and ideas. I think most people like the concept of the rocks and everything. Um, to me, it's planting. I would say, do what you think is appropriate. If it's dry, that sort of thing, soften the front. We're safe planting. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because still the money that I was told it's there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. I would just stay away from doing major changes to the building or the pathway. I think pretty much you can go a long way with rocks and well, plantings. Well, when and... I say the whole building needs a basement, I mean it needs like some air needs to be painted because the rails are rusted and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe just maintenance. Fine. Maintenance. Yeah, yeah. Anybody mention a new sign? I think new, a new uh, sign. Yeah. I think that. I think there is something on the oh. on the capital plan. I think there is something out there. I think I saw the cat. Yeah. yeah. There is. They wanted to do a digital sign. A digital sign would be nice. You can do your events. Mm -hmm. and I know. You can put your sponsors are on the call plan. Somebody can put your sponsors. They're really. Like, I've worked with ones be, one before, and yeah, it's. Uh, you can even put weather alerts up on. Yeah, you put weather alerts. Are, there's so many uses for it. It's re they're really great. Yeah, along with the new front, you know, the space. Be sure to wait for your park and rec department as you enter the park. <laughs> that was space on there. Not my space. Bill May says no. welcome. No. No, 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 no. It'll be all of us. <laughs> It'll be all of us. And that's the favorite thing. So we can yeah. let me type it in. It's there, there you go. go. That's why my picture's not anywhere on the board for township development announcements. Wait, 2027? 2027. Yeah. $75,000. Okay. It's $5,000? $75,000. Oh, 75000 Not that they're very expensive. Yeah. There's other things that need to go in first. Um, from my from my understanding in the uh for the borough because uh, we're dealing with the signs for the fireworks we have uh lighted signs in the historical area so 
we were looking to put a sign that we're borrowing down at the corner in the Manhattan Bagel parking lot. That is considered the historical area, so we can't put it there. Okay. So we are actually putting it across the street from the um, car wash. Yes. Okay. So there's certain areas that are have different considerations. Okay. And you always got to keep in mind too that we're in township. I mean, it, it might look large geographically, but we're only twelve thousand residents. So the revenue is not. It's not like it's pulling in. So those guys have a limited budget to work with. That's why capital planning is is important. Enough. Just you have to plan for these things ahead of time. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, but there's other pro there's other priorities that are probably more important than the digital sign before 2027. So that's that's the purpose of it. We need some money. We need some money. <laughs> <laughs> car wash. <laughs> That's a lot of cars, Marco. That's a lot of cars. I just said we participate. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. <laughs> It's going to happen. And that's that is a project that we're doing as time allows, right now. I told him. I asked. I said I think it would make more sense for him to redo it the roof after we get all the fascia replaced, as we're working on it now. Um, after the fireworks, in case something were to go kapooey. Well, I'm just that's just positive. You know, thinking forward. Realistic. Yes. Thank you. All right, we're going to move on because we have lots of baskets to do. And Christine <laughs> has been working so hard. <laughs> I want to get, get these baskets under control. And I don't get think they'll take very long. Same oh, as it won't take very long. I have to do that via Zoom because I have a four o'clock meeting. And unfortunately, my time travel device has been gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I will be Zooming it. <laughs> Any other questions and concerns? May I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Yeah. All right. That ends our meeting. Let's go wrap like a bat All right. Got to get us some lights on. And I don't want to like participate in the basket things, but that'll probably get yelled at. I don't think it's going to be. No. Oh, I hear you, Ty, and that's loud. Yeah. Marco, you get out of flipping burgers, and now you're getting out of the basket. <laughs>